Welcome to Living Life. May the Lord bless you as you walk together with Him today. People strive to climb up the ladder of success all their lives. And once they're on top, if they find the ladder was leaning against the wrong wall, they will be utterly disappointed. I hope that you will not be a fool where at the end of your lives that you will find the ladder that you were climbing was leaning against the wrong wall. I hope that you will be a wise person that knows that your life and our lives are all about not just making gain, not just climbing up, but that coming to know who God is and God's purpose for your life. I hope that you and I will not become a fool, but wise people that are living our lives on the right direction with the right purpose. Let's talk about it together today. Psalm chapter 53, verses 1 through 6. For the director of music, According to Mehalath, a mascal of David, the fool says in his heart, There is no God. They are corrupt and their ways are vile. There is no one who does good. God looks down from heaven on the sons of men to see if there are any who understand, any who seek God. Everyone has turned away. They have together become corrupt. There is no one who does good, not even one. Will the evildoers never learn? Those who devour my people as men eat bread and who do not call on God? There they were, overwhelmed with dread, where there was nothing to dread. God scattered the bones of those who attacked you. You put them to shame, for God despised them. Oh, that salvation for Israel will come out of Zion. When God restores the fortunes of his people, let Jacob rejoice and Israel be glad. You're a fool when you do not know that you are here, not by accident, because God made you and put you here. Here, this passage start with verse 1. Fool says in his heart, there is no God. When you do not come to realize that God is real, God created you, and one day that you are going to give account to God, that you're a fool and then how you live your life, however successful that you may be. As you come to the end of your life, you will have to see uh, what the true meaning, uh, the reason why God put you here. Psalm 53 is a repeat of Psalm 14, the very same theme. And fool says in his heart that there is no God, was written by David in earlier chapter and when he was much younger he came to realize yes in order for you to be a wise person you need to come to know God and then he knew that but much later in his life he came again to see how true it is what God has revealed to him even earlier even if you have everything in the world, even if you are a king that owns so much, if you do not learn to acknowledge God, and your life will not amount to anything. Fool says, it is fool, uh, says in his heart there is no God. You are not a wise person, a fool. Here, this passage continued to focus especially on this one focal element, and that is the issue, uh, that is a problem with every person, and that is sin. When you see God is real, then you begin to understand the problem all around you and problem inside of you. It's a problem of sin, not seeing God, and problem of sin, the effects of sin, and then how you need to find help for the sin, and that's what we see. Matthew Henry is a Bible commentator from long ago, but he has these things that he has noticed from this passage. The fact of sin, 
Yes, there is sin. And then sin reads real and it abounds, it affects the people. And then he says, God looks down from heaven and then sees men and women and people that are not seeking God. And this is a fact. And people are missing the point. And then people do not see God. And then and there is thing that no fault and people think uh, sin is not a problem and they minimize uh, sin. And then sin is a fountain, here, fountain of sin. And then people are so corrupt and so touched in their heart that is broken uh, without recognizing God. It affects every aspect of uh, their lives. Uh, sin, the folly of sin. And people, even with their very best intention of sin, with their very best motivation, uh, sin. Uh, is tainted, their hearts are tainted, and there is no one that does good and not even one, and that's what we see. But here, you know, what we see, the true folly is when people say, God, really? Is he real? Nah, God is not real, and then they neglect God and push God out altogether. I never knew that. I didn't see God. God didn't make himself real to me. But if you are seeking, and there is so many evidences of God that abound. Filth of sin. And people make sin look so attractive. Having an affair looks so good. Cheating others and then doing things it looks so nice and they package it that way. Fruit of sin. And people that uh, continue to get into sin, what happens is the sin begins to take hold of their lives, like here. The, they eat up their lives like eating the bread. The sin will overtake them and destroy them. And then at the end, those that are persisting in sin, God will bring judgment to you and your life of sin. Now, at the very end of this passage, verse 6, what are we to do? Those that begin to recognize God and those that see that our problem is not because I haven't had education because of my addiction, but it is sin problem that you are broken in your relationship with God and you're not living right before God. The verse 6, the salvation is available when you turn to God. When you turn to God and say, God, help me have mercy. Here, it promises, yes, reversal is available. Yes, God is able to restore the fortune, even if you may have lost everything. And especially those that come to see the salvation is available in Jesus Christ. I hope you and I will be not fools that says no God, no sin, but who says yes, God is real. My life is accountable before God and I want to live my life meaningfully as I turn to God for his help and his direction is leading. Are you a fool that has no regard for God and dismisses God? Or are you a wise person that knows God is real and God will one day bring your life to account before Him and living your life seeking his help, but also living to honor him. God, we thank you for reminding us. He who says there is no God is a true fool. Help us to be wise and help us to learn to know the creator to whom that we owe our all. And so that we may learn to seek grace and your help 
and live our lives for you. We thank you and we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. This program is 시청자 여러분의 소중한 후원으로 제작됩니다.